Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to guide you how you can easily add time tracking to our table. This is going to be a really simple and effective video on how you can do it. So the first thing you want to do is when you're going to be in Airtable, you want to go and click extension next to the manage fields. Here, you're going to click add extension. And now you're going to have the featured one like scripting, uh, page designer, etc. And what you want to do is just click here extension by Airtable. When you're going to click there, you want to scroll down below and find a time tracker. So that's something you want to find and click add here. In the moment when you're going to have it, are you going to have a table? It's a to do or things to buy. I'm going to choose things to buy view grid view. If you're going to multiple views, you can choose that. Then you can pick a field. So let's say it's going to be a duration that we have here. Start the date field. Let's say it's going to be collaboration field is going to be name and then start tracking. So then you can find a record which one you want to track. So let's say I'm going to have uh, this one here. And voila, it's going to start recording for you. You can expand the record. If you want to and see that. And then what I can do, I can easily have it like this in extension and it's going to work for me. The time tracker. So again, I can close it, click on it and stop tracking. So that's how we do it. And that's how simple way of doing it. Now what I can do simply is do it again. And let's say I'm going to have it for, let's say right here, the duration. So I can have extension time tracker, start tracking, or I can another extension and again, time tracking and same thing. So I would choose a table view duration the field and date field we don't have collaboration field can be name assignee or name done and start tracking and here you choose a task so I can choose have the here and it's going to calculate for me now, as you can see, we have a two time trackers here. So you can always find settings here and edit it. Uh, you can full screen or you can move it. So I have time tracker one, time tracker two. Uh, in my air table. So I can close the extension and it's going to start calculating for me how much time I actually spent in <clears throat> time tracking. Now, of course, you need to have like duration or something, because if I'm going to add an extension here an extension bar air table, and I'm going to have a time tracker and you need to always have a view and then also a duration, right? If it's going to be and date field, if you have the date field, you would find it right here. So you see, I can click done now <clears throat> and start tracking. So this is how you can do it. And right now what I can do, I can pause, I can resume or I can click stop tracking. You add this record name duration, right? And it automatically changed also the name and you see the duration is two minutes. So I'm going to have YouTube video 
or I can have like again YouTube marketing video. And now you can have the collaborator field. You can have none, none, then it won't change the name of it. So again, you don't have to have these optional. Now grid view, you can have it or no. That's again completely up to you. So this is pretty much it, how you can do it. And this is how you can use the error table time tracking or how you can track time. Of course, when you would go here, we can also look for extensions. I can add extension and you would possibly find extensions as a time tracker from different companies. You can even uh, combine with Toggle or what's the another name? Using Toggle, toggle or Clockify and you can clock your time. So that's something you can do. and how you can how you can do it right so thank you very much guys for watching i hope you're going to have a great day and goodbye see ya